Our wait list is quite extensive. We have at least 2,200 families waiting because they want a therapeutic program. This is not a vacation. This is a place where families are signing up because they know that they're going to be pushed. They know that we're going to have counseling and classes and that individually we're going to be able to meet those needs and then continue to stay with them for another two years. We did need it. We, it was not a want. It was not a nice little bonus. No, it was something that was genuinely needed. You, you know, you don't know none of these guys when you get here. And you know when they leave, they're all connected. And the wives are a little bit more connected with them and the families. And you know, then the spouses have somebody they can pick up the phone and call. She had nobody. With Project Sanctuary, you had them helping both of us. I don't think people understand how important the bigger half is because we come back broken. They're actually the bigger piece of the puzzle because they're the ones that are in the trenches now. So throughout our retreats we use recreation in a very therapeutic way. We, uh, sometimes we snowmobile, we hike, we fish, we do adventure courses, high ropes, and all those activities are really geared to bond the family, to push their limits a little bit, to remind them that they're alive, and to watch each other and support each other. That was so awesome! It also helps the family members get to know each other. and. Often people come from an isolated place and coming together and forming a little community over the course of the week through these activities helps with the bonding process. Spirits begin to uh, rise and uh, their moods get better and become more engaged with each other. It gave us tools. It gives you tools in your toolbox to deal with things and have a, a system, a foundation where you make friends, you meet other people who are in the exact same boat you are. And it was just a, a great safe place to be as emotional as you wanted to be in a safe room because everybody gets it in some way or another. You, you did. You felt safe. You felt like you were with brothers and you, you were safe. The kids are doing stuff that, that is going to mirror what the parents do, so when they're done, they get together, they're, they're going to be able to communicate a lot better. At some points it would get a little intense because we would talk about a lot of personal things like the struggles of having um, you know, someone that was in the military and having a veteran for a family member and just kind of the struggles with that, like how to handle situations with the PTSD. But, I mean, I feel like after a while we something about him and I just kind of clicked and we kind of just really became friends. So after the retreat, the families aren't done. We continue to provide a continuity of services depending on whatever they may need. So for the next two years, if they need any help with housing, employment, counseling, or if they even need a recommendation, where do we send our kids to a good camp? We want to be able to walk alongside them. So we can pick up the phone anytime or shoot an email out to them when we need some help or direction navigating some different things like we're uh, currently um, needing help with caregiver assistance um, and they've been helpful partnering with us and advocating for that. The biggest thing we took away from Project Sanctuary, by far, we took away hope. Because we were talking to families that had been through this for 10, 15 years and they'd made it out the other side. We were talking to families that were exactly where we were and they didn't know how they were gonna get out how they were going to get through that tunnel and I don't know that without Project Sanctuary we even would have started walking down the tunnel. I think we might have just quit and I'm so grateful that we didn't. <laughs>